What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you something in OBS. I'm going to show you how to get your currently playing song, album, and get the album art all to work on your stream without needing to use anything outside of OBS. For this tutorial, we're going to be using Stream Beats. However, there is a way to use Spotify and a couple other things. I'm going to focus on Stream Beats, but I will be sure to mention how Spotify works as well. Let's go. Wait, I don't need the intro this time, do I? All right, let's just get started. So step number one, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. If you don't hit those in that order, I don't know if this will work for you. Uh, either way though, guys, for real, just uh, follow along. This is simple and quick. If you miss anything, hit the rewind button or slow the video down. Links are below. First, you wanna download Tuna. Then you want to download Xyphon's Now Playing Overlay. And finally, you want to download MP3 Tag. Uh, with Xyphon's, when you go to the download, you're going to see a sample, song, and song style. Download these three. You'll need the sample JPEG because it'll be a lot easier to use than having to go into the CSS and changing it to a PNG like I did. With Tuna, go to download. I personally just downloaded the installer. You don't need to. You can download the bin and install it yourself if you're comfortable doing that. Regardless, the installer is the easiest way. Oh no, I didn't have it turned on. Oh god. All right, after you have downloaded all of those, you are going to want to go to the Alpha Gaming Discord and download Stream Beats right here. Doesn't matter which one, I picked Lifestyle. Download them all. That's uh, all of the tags are in Music Brains. You can use them that way. So after you have downloaded all of those, go into where you downloaded them and extract them. After you've extracted them, you'll see that they're .wav files. Go into mp3 tag, open mp3 tag. When you open mp3 tag, it's going to be empty. Go to file, add directory, find the lifestyles directory, select that folder. There are all the files you need. Select all those files, go up here to the top, click the little arrow, make sure Music Brains is selected, and for artist type Harris Heller. Find the name of the album, this one is Lifestyle, next, and give it just a second, it will pull everything up, hit OK, and it will write the tag data. Now, I had an issue where I had to save tag, I don't know if you need to, but Better to be safe than sorry, right? After you've done that, you're good to go. Tags are inside the WAV files. Um, if you're using Winamp, the tags will not be read. If you're using VLC, they will be read. So after you've done all that, you need to go into OBS, go Tools, and make sure that Tuna Settings is set. Go to VLC. There shouldn't be a source name yet, so go to Basics. And the first thing you want to do is find the artwork. I have a JPEG. Save that. Yes. Okay. And then you need to do the album artist title and the album title. So this part is going to look blank. You want to add new. You want to do the artist. You need to name one of them snip underscore artist and one of them snip underscore track. Double click on that. Go ahead and go yes. This one is the artist down here. You need to do percent. A and I like to put the album after the artist so do a space hyphen space album colon percent M hit OK and add another one snip track yes and this is simple you could put track playing if you wanted or current track but all you have to do is percent T for title that's good. Apply that. Hit OK. Come out here. Add a source. You're going to want to add a VLC video source. Create a new one. You're going to want to name it Stream Beats. Hit OK. Loop playlist, shuffle playlist, add some files. We're going to just add a whole directory because it's inside here. So go into the lifestyle directory, select folder. All of the music is in there and hit OK. If you have downloaded all of Stream Beats, you will either need to add all of the directories separately or you will need to add each of the files separately. 
Make sure that song placeholder is empty. Song source is set to VLC. VLC is set to stream beats. Apply. Okay. Right click and to get the now playing to show you want to add a browser source. Name it now playing or whatever you really want to name it. It's up to you. You're going to want to go local file, browse for a song dot html open that it is 350 width by 70 height and okay now we're going to look at that it's already working right there you can drag this to make it bigger if you want for some reason to have your song take up the whole bottom of your screen you can do that i don't really think you'd want to do that but i mean if you want to I like to keep it about this big and put it just down in the corner. You can put it up the top. There are some other plugins you can get. You could have one, a uh, waveform showing on top of this. And what's really cool is when I go to stream beats and stop it, it disappears. It's supposed to disappear. It's not disappearing. Why isn't it? Why isn't it disappearing? I don't, I don't know why it's not disappearing. Um, Oh, it's probably because I have two copies of OBS running and so it's like losing its mind and doesn't know how to work. Um, I messed up the tutorial. Oh my God. What's happening here? I'm gonna go to my OBS that has everything running and we're gonna just go ahead and hit play. And there it is right there. And then if I hit stop, it goes away. What's really cool is any of the songs that play, it will show and if for some reason you wanted to use Spotify, all you have to do is click here, open login page. It'll log in. After you log in, you'll copy this code here. Authentication code, request token, boom, good to go. Apply. And now if I was to use VLC or Spotify, it would be working. Uh, Last.fm, I don't use, I'm not sure. You can also just go based on window title if you're using Winamp. The problem is, is that it's not super accurate. I find VLC to be best, that way I'm not using anything outside of OBS uh, to show my music. All right, that's it guys. Thanks for being here. If this helped you out, let me know below. Any questions, leave them in the comments or check out my Discord, link in the description. If you like this kind of content, let me know, I'll keep doing it. I've got a couple more ideas for stream elements that I wanna do and a couple more things for like the stream chat and a couple things like that. Uh, the chat bot, my phone is ringing, I'm gonna sign off. Thanks for being here, until next time, keep playing.